Hello, another week of the Wacky Walla Show. <laughs> well, good weekend last weekend? Fairly good. Um, started off well with a w winner Friday night, so Willie won well, I thought. Rory Hutchings in the saddle at yeah. Canterbury. Strong race. Straight into Still the there. listed race, the ATC Cup with Telepathic, which I think we tipped on the show. You tipped so Willie as well, did we? Yeah, you said he's ready. Good. But Telepathic only paid dollar. Fifty, yeah, fifty. Well, the boys yeah. back there. The boys the back season, mate. Did you back it? No, I thought you backed it. No, TJ backed the wrong horse. <laughs> the other fellow that helps us, TJ, put the boys' money on telepathic, dollar fifty. Turned out he backed number five, not number four. Wrong horse. But I think I said to the uh, the people listening, watching. All Back up into the, the Villiers. Yeah. yeah. So she's on track for the Villiers. And then. Eye contact. Eye contact. Oh, well. I think we bought a tip, did, didn't we tip it? I think we might have. So no, we didn't. Though. We didn't. We didn't. He won well, and he's going to be in the sale next week. So if anyone wants a last start winner, go to the English sale at Melbourne next Friday. Yeah. Buy yourself a bargain. There you the go. more people that try to buy, the more money you'll make. Nice sound horse, isn't it? He's a very sad Fort horse. brother, half brother? Something like that. Yeah. Right, anyway, moving on. Mooney Valley, Friday night. Look at what? Two good, well, one really good chance, I think, in four carat. Yeah. He's, he's had no luck his last couple of runs. And Dan Jewett. 3,000 metres, you yeah, three. Dan Jewett, a bit short for Dan Jewett, but um, he's going well enough to be competitive. Yeah. Fair enough. Sandown on Saturday. Big team of runners running at, at Sandown. We do. Um, not our usual riders, but... No. All our usual riders are interstate or... this Suspended. Suspended. They're all over the show. And this challenge, State of Origin challenge in Brisbane is taking up a few riders. Yep. It's a good initiative from Brisbane Racing. Um, Absolutely. Taking all our jockeys away. Black Jack. In the mile, he could give this race a bit of a bit of cheek. It's not an overly strong field. His first up run was 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 okay. He's been he's been at this level before and performed well. I realise it's a bit short of his best, but I think he'll give them a bit of cheek. It's tough out. and honest, isn't it? He is. Now's the time in race three. Yeah, he's headed down there to find more suitable races. The weight scale doesn't really suit him in Sydney at the moment, carrying 60 or thereabouts, just finds it a bit hard. So I think we found a nice race for him on Saturday. He's not the world's best horse, but he's drawn well. He's in reasonable form, and I think the distance will suit. Yeah. Uh, in the 1400, she's clean. Uh, 60 and a half kilos, but gee, she's a tough mare, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she is. She's always bang there. She's compressed the weights, which has meant her and metaphorical should be the top two chances. Uh, the horse is below the minimum, or they've obviously got sense and reason there with 54, but they drop away sharply. Those horses with lower ratings, yeah. they're entitled to have a lot less weight than 54. So. But Realistically, guess, there's three three winning chances in the race. And two of them are ours. Two of them are ours. Stephen King rides She's Clean from Barrier 7 and Sense and Reason. Well, it's hard to fault her form. and It's the right distance for her. She's well weighted. Barrier draw of eight won't worry, worry her. No. Chris Simon's in the saddle. I think we're well represented. Yeah, I think we are too. Well, that's good, Charlie. <laughs> In the 1500, low places. Had a good prep last prep? Really good prep. Um, found good city form towards the end of the preparation. Model of consistency. Bit short for him Saturday. Yeah. I think he'll just go back and hopefully attack the line. One of your old favourites, Pythagorean. Yep, yeah. old favourites. Old last year's favourite. He's on his way to Melbourne. and He's on his way to the sale next Friday as well. He hasn't come up this prep, has no. he? Baskill, also the same race. Yeah, he needs to find some form. Um, awkward gate. Yeah, it's a proper handful to ride in a race. Let's hope 
there's a bit of speed on and he can slot in and, and be on his best behaviour. And then in, in the last, Bradley. Bradley, he's in the sale next Friday as well. Um, which might sound a bit harsh, but he's, he just struggles to break through it. All of his wins have gone that way around in England though? They have, right, so. yeah. He's raced a lot left-handed. So it could see it. Yeah, and another thing is the distance. Do you think he'll get 2,400 metres? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, if he races straight and true, he can hang and do a few things wrong, he's a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Right, up to Sydney. Roundwick. Nothing in the first. Right, okay. What happened there? Uh, nothing in the first. Oh. Race two then. Torgerson, last start winner. Yes, Jason. Uh, back on board. Yes, Jason Collett rides. Barrier two. Should get a nice run. Got there in the last stride in a very strong run race last start. So it's gonna be on the it's going to be on the short side for him. But Feast for Rise is in there again. He led the race last start. I'm yep. sure he'll roll along in a fairly good tempo. He gets a bit of uh, weight off his back as well. Feast last, for Rise, twice, last two times he's been stopped from weight, hasn't Feast he? Feast for Rise much better suited at the weights. Yeah. Kieran McAvoy rides. He should suit him. Barrier one, he's going to get a few favours from that good gate. Had to work to get across last start. If he yeah. could just jump and get into stride, it would make it a lot easier for the jockey rather than having to push him along, which tends to fire him up. Yeah. And Dingo Mountain. He's going Glenn. well. Um, heavy tracks, I don't think, have been to his advantage the last couple of runs. He no. gets back on a good track on Saturday. And um, Barrier 7 should get a nice run, attack the line late. And Rye in the 2000 metre race. I think he's our best chance of the day, Charlie. Do you? Yeah, I do. I haven't had a good look at the form. We'll do so over the next. Last start winner, James Gallup with preferment on Sunday with him. Good. And um, I think it's a perfect race for him. Should okay. love Ramwick. No excuses for him on Saturday. Right, race five, Wine Tales. Barrier nine of nine, Glenn Schofield in the saddle. He rode her last start, she finished a good second. Uh, I don't think the draws are really relevant to her, she gets back anyway. No. Uh, similar field to what she raced last start. I think she's well weighted, albeit against the boys. She doesn't win out of turn, but she'll win some prize money on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Race six, all threes. I liked her run last start. She blew the start and therefore was back in an awkward position, got held up in the straight, went clear, she made a bit of a dab. Uh, on a day that it was hard to make up ground. She jumps with them Saturday, Charles. You'll know she's there. Will we? Okay, if you say so. I wouldn't be either. Lucy's look. Uh, Lucy's look. First up run last Saturday was okay. Um, yeah. Didn't get a lot of clear running in the straight. And um, she had good preparation before her first, or well, good solid grounding before her first up run. So therefore, I think on Saturday, um, Second up should be no problem. She'll run a cheeky race in this crate. Okay, so this is the bet then. I'm on Lucy, you can have all series. You have a bit too. I just said they're both good chances. Now you want to well, take, take, take Lucy. Yeah, I'm Lucy over all series. I think Lucy's going just as good as all series. Right, so they've got to finish with Lucy's half look length of each other. Beats all series by a length. I'll share you. No, half a length. More. I'll share your dinner on Saturday night. Okay, perfect. I won't be having it with you though, you can have it. <laughs> on oh my own. One of your jockey girlfriends. Oh. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, race eight, Cawthon's Power. Wow, if Rye's not our best bit of the day, well this horse would be tromping in his heels, Charles. Yeah. He's going terrific. Model of consistency, winning his last two starts, or well, it was only two starts back from this preparation. Brenton Abdullah goes aboard because James is committed to Godolphin. Um, shouldn't be too much of a disadvantage there. Drawn perfectly, going well. It's hard to give him the same road though. Well, he's got a good barrier. That's true, that's true. I'll let you off. I'd be disappointed if he didn't get a good ride from that gate, Charles. Invincible. Well, he's going well. 
struck winning form last start and won impressively. Kieran McAvoy rides again. Uh, he's drawn okay. I think barrier eight, from memory. Yep. Yep. And um, yep. might run the Cordella. Run Hardison. He'll. I think he'll need the run. He was a bit disappointing first up, a bit soft. I find these horses off long preparations normally need a few runs. Trialed in between, though, hasn't he? He has trialed in between. You're yeah, right, right, Charles. Good boy. Uh, went all right. I'd still like to see him over a little bit further. And then the last, Wu Dang, drawn in the car park. He has. Blake Shin aboard, three year old taking on the older horses, which I don't mind at this time of the year. Um, just brought him back in distance just to help him switch off. We've kept the blinkers on, which might have caused him to over race last start. But he's trialled since then, trialled well. He'll attack the line strongly. Hopefully, it's not a bit too short for him. Thank you, Charles. Just quickly, how much have you enjoyed your extra half an hour in bed the last two mornings? Hasn't been any, Charlie. We've had to get up at the same time due oh, what to. What Due to. Wouldn't say an overwhelming response. I would say a lack of consultation from fellow trainers with their staff and the ATC. Um, the trial was set down to start on the 1st of December and that date was set three or four months ago. Yep. Our staff were properly informed and, and looking forward to it. Um, we saw many reasons for the latest start, albeit only half an hour, we thought we'd be finishing probably 15 minutes later, not half an hour later. We thought therefore productivity would be better, lifestyle would be improved and we thought um, work safety would be improved as well. Um, it's dead set a bit scary walking around here at 4 o'clock in the morning with staff um, not quite on the ball as who would be at that time yeah. of the morning? Exactly. Always got to be look careful. We take all, all precautions, of course, but yeah, I, I feel for those that were looking forward to it, it's it's disappointing. They tell me there's still consultation going on, and that it may still happen, but uh, it's just disappointing that trainers don't get behind each other and, and work. It's uh, a sport after all. Yeah, I've spoken to many trainers from other training jurisdictions and they swear by a slightly later start. Uh, our stable in Melbourne starting half an hour later, they love it, as is the Warwick Farm start, stable starting half an hour later, they love it as well. They're getting finished earlier, uh, I haven't docked their wages, they're still getting paid the same. Uh, it's a win-win for staff, which unfortunately other stables aren't willing to, to take on board. That's a great shame. It is a great shame, and they wonder why we're struggling to get staff into our industry. Who would let their son and daughter, uh, or their friends, start at 3.30 in the morning? Um, four o'clock would be silly really enough. I think we should be starting an hour later, which could come into effect in the winter, but it's a bit sad, really. Yeah. I don't think you're, you're worrying it right. It shouldn't be in the morning. It's in the night. Mm. Three o'clock in the morning not, is the night. It's not on the shift work. It's, it's difficult conditions to work in. Watch the space, but I'm starting to lose a bit of faith. That'll do, peeps.